Good afternoon, everyone. We begin with breaking news here on the now. A man has died and a second person survived this afternoon after the lift they were working on collapsed. Our Cynthia Newsom is live for us now where all of this happened just east of Worlds of Fun. Cynthia. Yeah, we understand from firefighters that uh, the name of the uh, person who died here, we don't have his name yet, he was 23 years old and we're told by witnesses here at the scene that uh, he was a young family man who had a young child as well. We are at Inland Truck Parts and Service in the Northland. You can see this is still very much an active investigation. The coroner has arrived and OSHA investigators are here at the scene as well. Let's go ahead and take a look now at Sky Tracker footage to uh, help me explain exactly what happened here today. Two men were on a lift when that lift collapsed. They were painting the red stripe on the building. Now that's about 25 feet in the air. They were on what's called a scissor lift. When the lift collapsed, one painter managed to hang on. He survived. The 23-year-old painter fell on the windshield of the truck and the scaffolding fell on top of him, killing him. We heard this boom, blam noise and I thought, thought it was one of the cars wrecking and we came up here and we seen that thing turned over right there and said it's an accident and it, I guess the scaffold fell over on the truck and fell on the guy. And Now, it was slightly windy at the time, but we do not know if wind is what caused that lift to collapse. Again, those OSHA investigators are here. They are interviewing witnesses and looking at the evidence, and they'll file their full report as to what caused this deadly accident here today in the Northland. Reporting live, Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News.